VI characteristics of a PN diode and breakdown mechanisms. In this lesson, the learner will be able to explain the formation of PN junction diode, express the VI that is voltage and current characteristics of PN junction diode, describe the PN junction diode breakdown mechanisms. Before heading to the topic, let us discuss the overview of intrinsic and extrinsic semiconductor. Intrinsic semiconductors are pure semiconductor where concentration of electrons and holes are equal. Extrinsic semiconductor. In intrinsic semiconductor, impurities are added called as doping is done to increase the conductivity. Extrinsic semiconductor can be divided into two types, p-type semiconductor and n-type semiconductor. p-type semiconductor is formed by doping group 3 elements where majority carriers are holes. N-type semiconductor is formed by doping group 5 elements where majority carriers are electrons. P-type and N-type materials are combined to create a junction. It is called P-N junction. This junction has a potential voltage based on the movement of charge carriers. This combination of device is called as PN junction diode. Introduction of VI characteristics. When applying an external voltage to PN diode terminals, the depth of junction will vary. This happens depending upon voltage and current supply to the diode. Based on this VI characteristics, diode will be used in various applications. Let's see applications of PN junction diode. In battery charger, Rectifier circuits use diodes to convert the AC into DC voltage to manufacture the LED. PN diodes are used to manufacture the light emitting diodes. When the voltage supply is applied to the diode, the electrons and holes combine, and during combining, the free electrons lose the energy in terms of photon. The amount of photon release increases the color intensity. Solar cells. PN junctions are used to manufacture the solar cells. In solar cells, P and N type materials are sandwiched together with the back and front contact. This arrangement will be protected by glass material. The electrons and holes are combined together and form the junction. When the photon energy hits the silicon layer, it creates the current in the outer conductor. Now the light will glow. The PN junction diodes are also used in audio amplifiers to clamp and clip audio signals, transistor, photodiode, etc. Let's have the discussion about the diode formation and breakdown mechanism through VI characteristics. Formation of PN diode. In extrinsic semiconductor, both N type and P type materials are sandwiched to form PN junction diode. The electrons and the holes in the region of the junction combined, thereby resulting in a lack of free carriers in the region near the junction. After joining, the electrons start to move from the N side and holes start to move from P side. This electron and holes combine and neutralize. Due to this process, negative acceptor ions in the P region and positive donor ions in the N region are left uncovered and uncompensated. Further, holes trying to diffuse into N region are rippled by the uncovered positive charge of the donor ions. Similarly, further electrons trying to diffuse into P region are rippled by the uncovered negative charge of the acceptor ions. Furthermore, diffusion holes and electrons across the junction are stopped. The region having the acceptor and donor ions called depletion region. This depletion region, also called as space charge region. This region contains immobile or fixed ions which are electrically charged. So, no more charge carriers can cross the junction. Due to immobile charge carriers, there exists an electric field across the junction. This creates the potential difference across the junction which is called barrier potential or cut-in voltage of the PN junction. Barrier potential for silicon is 0.7 volts, 
whereas for germanium it's 0.3 volt biasing of pn junction diode applying external dc voltage to diode is called biasing depending upon the polarity of the dc voltage to the terminals of pn diode the biasing is classified into forward biasing reverse biasing and zero biasing if no voltage is applied to the pn junction it is called zero biasing when positive terminal is connected to the p type and negative terminal is connected to the n type of the diode it is forward biasing operation of forward biased diode if the applied voltage increases the negative terminal of the battery pushes electrons from n to p region similarly the positive terminal of the battery pushes holes from p to n region when the applied voltage becomes near to barrier potential the number of holes in the p region increases and these holes recombines with the negative charge of the depletion region similarly electrons in n region also increase and recombine with the positive potential of depletion region due to this process the width of the depletion region gets decreased if the applied voltage increases further electrons start to move from the n to p region and holes start to move from p to n region this electron movement induces the current the current flow due to the majority carriers is called drift current reverse bias of the pn diode when negative terminal is connected to the p type and positive terminal is connected to the n type of the diode it is reverse biasing operation of reverse biased diode if the applied voltage starts to increase the negative terminal attracts the holes in the p region positive terminal of the battery attracts the free electrons in the n region away from the junction the depletion region widens and barrier potential across the junction also increases this creates more positive ions in the n region and more negative ions in the p region as the reverse bias voltage increase electrons on p side and hole on n side that is minority carriers start to move towards positive and negative polarity of the applied voltage these constitute the current in reverse bias condition the vi characteristics show the voltage and current characteristics of a diode for forward and reverse bias of applied voltage in the graph vertical scale indicates the current flow of diode horizontal scale indicates the applied voltage source of pn diode vi characteristics for forward bias if the voltage applied is less than the breakdown voltage of the depletion region the charge carriers do not flow across the junction so the current will be zero if the applied voltage nears the breakdown voltage few majority charge carriers start to cross the depletion region the current start to increase which is very negligible if the applied voltage is equal to breakdown voltage the depletion region vanish then the majority carriers start to flow from one region to opposite polarity of the applied source when the applied voltage increases more than the breakdown voltage the majority carrier flow is very high and this will raise the current exponentially and it is called the knee of the curve vi characteristics for reverse bias as the reverse voltage increases the minority charge carriers start to move for constant temperature the reverse current is almost constant hence it is called reverse saturation current if the reverse voltage is increased beyond the particular value large reverse current will flow and it will damage the diode reverse saturation current also depends upon the temperature to avoid this damage the diode breakdown should be controlled this reverse breakdown mechanisms of a diode will be controlled by following two effects one avalanche effect two zener effect breakdown due to the avalanche effect if reverse voltage is increased at a particular level velocity of minority carriers increases 
due to the kinetic energy of the minority carriers which collides and combined with atoms in the depletion region. Finally, large number of minority carriers move across the junction. The carrier breaks the junction. The current starts to flow. This breakdown is applicable for low doping semiconductors. Breakdown due to the Zener effect. Under reverse bias conditions, the electric field across the depletion layer is very intense. Due to this intense field, it pulls the electrons out of the valence bands of the stable atom. Such a creation of free electrons is called Zener effect. This constitutes very large current flow in the diode. This rapid increase of current is called the knee of the reverse characteristics of PN diode. In practical, the series resistance is added to avoid breakdown by limiting the reverse current flow. This animation shows the complete VI characteristics of PN diode. In forward bias, at a certain voltage, close to barrier potential current increase rapidly. The current starts increasing rapidly is called cut-in voltage. It is denoted by VR. In reverse bias condition, the voltage starts to increase up to VBR, that is, reverse breakdown voltage. The current flow is very less. When the applied voltage is reached to breakdown voltage, current starts to increase rapidly. This breakdown will happen due to the Zener and Avalanche breakdown. When the room temperature increases, the breakdown voltage of the diode becomes decrease. That is, it starts to conduct before its normal breakdown voltage. This graph shows the breakdown voltage with respect to both forward and reverse bias for different semiconducting materials such as germanium, silicon, gallium arsenide. Germanium has the breakdown voltage for forward bias is 0.3 volt and reverse bias is around 50 volts and 1 microampere. For silicon, semiconductor breakdown voltage for forward bias is 0.7 volt and reverse bias is around 100 volts and 10 picoamperes. Gallium arsenide forward bias breakdown voltage is 1.2 volt and reverse bias is more than 100 volts and less than 5 picoamperes. The reverse breakdown voltage depends on the Zener breakdown and avalanche breakdown. The current flow can be calculated using Shockley equation for both forward bias and reverse bias of the diode shown in equation 1, where Is is reverse saturation current. Vd is applied forward bias voltage across the diode. Ideality factor is assumed as 1. Vt is the thermal voltage given in equation 2, where K is the Boltzmann constant. Its value equal to 1.38 into 10 to the power minus 23 joules per Kelvin. Tk is temperature in Kelvin. Q is the magnitude of electric charge. PN diode has the following advantages. Diode is a basic structure for all active devices. Small in size and long life in electronic circuit. Diode manufacturing cost is low compared to other active semiconductor devices. Summary This brings us to the end of the lesson. In this lesson, we have learned about formation of PN diode voltage and current characteristics of PN diode, PN diode breakdown mechanism.